All right, it's 7 o'clock, and uh, we were supposed to have a public uh, hearing for a zoning change. So uh, is there anyone present that wants to speak regarding on November the 28th, 2023, the Bedford County Regional Planning Commission unanimously recommended a zoning classification change to a parcel identified as MAP 79, parcel 10.00, from its current classification of A1, which is agriculture and forestry, to C2, uh, general commercial, uh, for commercial use ancillary to the adjoining property known as Brad's Market. Is there anyone in the audience that wants to speak regarding this before we come into session? Okay, hearing or seeing none, uh, we'll declare the hearing closed. And if you'll stand, we'll be uh, opened in prayer by Commissioner Adam Thomas. Let us pray. Dear Lord God, thank you for this day, the blessings you have given us, Lord. I thank you for... Uh, the blessing we have to gather here together peacefully, Lord. I pray you will be with us as a commission, Lord, that we will uh, make choices that honor you, Lord, and that you will give us the wisdom and uh, on how to make those choices, Lord. I pray uh, you will bless us as you see fit. Through your Son, Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. If you'll join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. The meeting will now be officially opened by the Sheriff Austin Swing. Board of Commissioners now in session. The Honorable Mayor Chad Graham presiding. Thank you, VC. All right, first item will be roll call uh, from County Clerk Donna Thomas. Commissioner Anderson. Here. Commissioner Boutwell. Here. Commissioner Boyette. Here. Commissioner Brothers. Here. Commissioner Epperson. Here. Commissioner Fair here. Commissioner Hooker here. Commissioner Johnson here. Commissioner Maddox here. Commissioner Neely here. Commissioner Pinson here. Commissioner Sanders here. Commissioner Smith here. Commissioner Adam Thomas here. Commissioner Mark Thomas here. Commissioner Thompson here. Commissioner Vick here. Commissioner Yaki here. Eighteen present, zero absent. All right. First item is approval of the minutes uh, from the January 9th. Commission meeting. Make a motion to approve. Motion second. Open for discussion. Clarification question. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? All right. Next is our public comment. Now we had a public hearing regarding zoning change, but this is public comment for the commission meeting on items associated with the agenda. Is there anyone in the audience wish to speak or make a comment regarding this? Okay. Hearing none. Seeing none. Uh, we're moving on. Uh, for elections and confirmations, our election notaries uh, for March of 2024. Mr. approved. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? All right. Uh, next is uh, the UTTSU Extension Committee appointment. Uh, they had gave notice that uh, Mr. Terry Smith is uh, up for a second term, and he's from the 3rd District, so they put that name forward, and I'm fine with that. Make a motion to approve. Second. All right. Any other comments or thoughts? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? All right. And then audit committee appointments. Uh, the late Virgil Johnson seat was open, and uh, Mr. David Crow has agreed to serve in that, so that's my recommendation. Motion to approve. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? All right. Thank you for that. Uh, beer board apparently is supposed to be annual renewal. And so um, Lisa Carden currently serves as the chair, Wayne Hart, Amy McCullough, Larry Joyce, and Frida Lusk. Uh, so it would be my recommendation that we renew them. If uh, that's Second. Okay. Uh, are you all okay with voting them all at the same time for that one? Uh, all in favor? Any opposed? All right. Thank you for that. Next item is uh, Resolution 2413, Bedford County Transportation Planning Grant. And this is for, uh, for Mark Clanton and them to continue to do studies on 231 North, uh, but we have to adopt a resolution to apply for that grant. Move to approve. Second. All right, any comments or questions? I believe it should have been in your packet. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? 
thank you for that. Now under Rules and Legislative Committee uh, zoning change requests, and this is uh, related to the public hearing that we had. On November the 28th, 2023, the Bedford County Regional Planning Commission unanimously recommended a zoning classification change to a parcel identified as MAP 79 Parcel 10.00 from its current classification of A1 Agriculture to C2 General Commercial for commercial use ancillary to the adjoining property known as Brad's Market. What's the wishes of the... Move to approve. Second. All right, so now we have motion second. We're open for discussion. Mr. Chair. Commissioner Hooker. I think that's uh, Diane and um, Anita's area. Have y'all heard anything from that? Heard anything? Okay. Uh, yeah, Commissioner Mark Thomas. Is, is this property we're rezoning or looking to rezone, is it in the city or the county? This would be county, uh, but it's a, it's adjoining. It's right next to their, his city parcel. Yeah, I'm familiar with the property, but we're not allowing the city to annex that property. It's still county property, right? Yeah, the annexation request has not come through on it or anything like that. This is just us uh, attempting to rezone it to allow them to put a, a fuel island on that on that lot. Thank you, Mr. But if it's inside the growth boundary, the city could potentially annex that at some point, correct? Yeah, theoretically they could, but they, or, you know, they could uh, attempt to do it, but they could do it now as well. Um, so. Okay. Any other questions or comments regarding the rezoning? Okay. Uh, so we had the motion a second. We had discussion. So when your name's called, vote for or against the two, re yes is to rezone it. Commissioner Anderson, Commissioner Boutwell, yes. Commissioner Boyette, yes. Commissioner Brothers, yes. Commissioner Epperson, yes. Commissioner Fair, uh, Commissioner Hooker, yes. Commissioner Johnson, yes. Commissioner Maddox, yes. Commissioner Needley, yes. Commissioner Pinson, yes. Commissioner Sanders, yes. Commissioner Smith, yes. Commissioner Adam Thomas, yes. Commissioner Mark Thomas, yes. Commissioner Thompson, yes. Commissioner Vick, yes. Commissioner Yaki, yes. Does anyone wish to change your vote? 18 ayes, zero noes. All right. Next was law enforcement, which had nothing to report. Courthouse and property, nothing. Under financial management, the quarterly financial, it should have been in your packet. And this is just, again, uh, you've been seeing this data through the financial management committee. This is just the quarterly summary of that. Move to approve. Second. Okay. Motion second. We're open for discussion. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? All right, thank you. Next is uh, the audit report. The audit committee is required to uh, do a report each year based on the audit findings. Uh, it's really for your information. It's, it doesn't require a vote, but it needs to be on the record that you guys, it was shared with you that they did meet and what, their, what actions they took in regards to that. Does so, this become part of the minutes? I think do we make, need action I, on it. I, I think, it, does it automatically or do they need to make a motion to record it anything I, I've found out from mr. Curtis that anything that is to be spread on the minutes needs to be voted to be spread on the minutes okay. so, yes. so not a vote whether you agree or disagree but simply to include it in the record so could we have a motion so moved. Okay. is there a second. second to that second okay all right does everybody understand what that was okay all in favor Aye. any opposed all right thank you all right under other business we need to have an attorney client uh, meeting we do have counsel here uh, I would ask you to recess in case uh, we need to come back and take any action uh, at the time of that. So is there a motion to recess? While Make a we... motion to recess. All right. Second. All right. Okay, so we stand in recess if the public will... Uh... Declare we're back in session. And is there any other business? Mr. Chair? Yes, Commissioner. Okay. I'd like to make a motion to suspend the rules to discuss uh, potential. Um, okay, we've got a motion and a second. Any 
complaint? All in favor of that? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right. The, the motion was to suspend the rules. The first thing we're doing is suspend the rules. You acceptable to that? Everybody? I think we have to do a show of hands, don't we, on suspending the rules? We can, yeah, by a show of hands to suspend the rules. So it's unanimous. The second was uh, Commissioner Anderson, and, and Commissioner Hooker was the motion. Okay, so we've suspended the rules to discuss the. Uh... Okay, Commissioner Vick. On behalf of the County Commission, I'd like to offer up a uh, resolution that we authorize the law firm of Holland and Knight to respond to the letter received from the City of Shelbyville November 17th, 2023. And secondly, to authorize Holland and Knight to take the appropriate measures to any potential actions and further to designate Mayor Chad Graham as the sole point of contact with Holland and Knight. I'll second that. Okay, we've got a motion and a second. We're open for discussion. Everybody understand what the motion is and where we're at on that? Ask for a roll call. Yes, please. Roll call vote. Uh, when your name's call, vote for or against. Commissioner Yaki. Yes. Commissioner Vick. Yes. Commissioner Thompson. Yes. Commissioner Mark Thomas. Yes. Commissioner Adam Thomas. Yes. Commissioner Smith. Yes. Commissioner Sanders. Yes. Commissioner Pinson. Yes. Commissioner Neely. Yes. Commissioner Maddox. Yes. Commissioner Johnson. Yes. Commissioner Hooker. Yes. Commissioner Fair. Uh. Commissioner Epperson. Yes. Commissioner Brothers. Yes. Commissioner Boyette. Yes. Commissioner Boutwell. Yes. Commissioner Anderson. Does anyone wish to change your vote? 18 ayes, zero noes. All right, and now we're down to announcements. Uh, early voting starts tomorrow, February the 14th. There's something special about that day. I can't remember what it is, but uh, besides early voting, and uh, that's through the 27th there at the Annex. Doesn't matter which district or uh, ward that you would be in. In early voting, you always go to uh, the election office. Keep that in mind. And then the commission, the county offices will be open, uh, closed for President's Day on February the 19th. And again, that's one of our routine dates. Is there any other announcements? Commissioner Bill Anderson. Uh, Shelbyville will be at Coffee County for the district tournament over there. And Cascade's hosting the region here, so you've got communion and everybody. If you want to go out to Cascade School and watch that, uh, girls and boys both, it's really nice that Cascade's hosting the tournament. I just want to announce that and encourage everybody to get out and support them. Absolutely. Other announcements? All right, is there a motion to adjourn?